might be. It just means you can fit. Ignore it. Ignore it completely. So you will want to just just before every shift, make sure you have a pep talk with yourself. You explain to yourself who the fuck you are and who they think they are. And then just like see that from that perspective. Soy la chica de las poesías. Can I be sued for copyright for that? That's from a song. If you, you know, if you know good music, you know what song that is. From <laughs> traumatic moments. This is what this video is all about. This is not even my good side. This is my good side. So yeah, I'm gonna be talking to you like this, but I'm still watching. What am I saying? My hair is a mess. I have a bandana on. You can probably see that you chose this visual medium. Hi, hello and welcome. This is my channel. This is Louis Hang. And I thought of introducing another segment. Just to prove that I'm more than true crime. I'm more than true crime, she says somewhat confidently. So yeah, let's prove that to myself. Going back to three-year-old Maya. Well, actually, I was eight or nine when I watched La Salinda, but yeah. You could really say my parents were bringing me up on telenovelas, so they started early. I was like three years old. I was like, this is hella dramatic. It's totally not like violence and sexual relations happening on television. But yeah, my parents knew how to bring me up right, so this is why we're here. And I'm gonna try to do the impossible, which is to summarize a telenovela in five scenes, okay? I say that, but then I have kind of more than five scenes ready, but let's just forget about that. It's gonna be five scenes, yeah? So, this is for Selena in five scenes. Let's get started. So the premise of Rosalinda. Quick explanation of what Rosalinda is all about. It's that rags to riches tale. <coughs> am I dying? Am I dying? It's a classic rags to riches tale. So Rosalinda is poor. She is a florist. Well, she's definitely not a florist. She sells flowers, okay? And she just touches them in a really awkward way that I'm gonna put in this video because it's worth it, okay? She just touches them like she has never touched flowers before. <laughs> Which is totally relevant and not important, but they have these bogus jobs in this tunnel, okay? As you know, because you're here. So, Rosalinda and Fernando Jose, it's, it's a romance, right? He's rich, she's poor. They're gonna meet in this first scene because the first scenes, to explain every telenovela, is always the encuentro moment. It's always the time when they first meet. But a prequel to that, we see Rosalinda coming to this florist shop. She's just like, you know, apologizing because her mom is sick. All these poverty problems. All these poverty problems that rich people don't know nothing about, yeah? But he's like, yeah, it's fine. And then she holds flowers in a really strange way. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the pretense of this scene that she's like putting those flowers in a bouquet. She's like, I'm clueless to this. Somebody else is gonna do this. I just have to do this shit for right now. Also, Talia, the protagonist, at this point was, this was her last telenovela, like, so she was moving on to better things, okay? She has music career now, you know, she's famous as fuck. So, so this was her last shot, she was just like, what else? You know, let me put some flowers into a fucking bouquet. Okay, meanwhile, at the palace, at this hacienda thing, okay, look at this rich ass car. Hmm. Okay. The mommy issues between Fernando Jose and Lupita Ferrer. His name is not Fernando Jose. Let's call him Cucumber Head because, okay, you cannot. <sighs> what hurt me with this, what hurt me with Rosalinda, even when I was eight, when I was watching this, is how they didn't match her with the equivalent protagonist, okay? Talia played roles with Fernando Colunga, who was the hot hunk during this era, okay? And now they put her with some Cucumber Head. You see how disgusted she is to kiss him in the in the future, but he has serious mommy and she is just this scene. Also Lupita Ferrer, genius, genius villain in all of these telenovelas. But yeah, just look at this fucking mommy you should see. Uh, 
Gracias por tantos años que le has dedicado a la memoria de mi padre. Qué menos podía ser por su recuerdo. Veinte años. Veinte años. Que aquella sinvergüenza le arrancó la vida. Pero lo ha pagado. Y espero que lo pague toda su vida. Sigue odiándola. Ese odio nunca moriré. Y en ti tampoco debe morir. Tú debes odiar siempre a Soledad Romero. Y a todo lo que tenga que ver con ella. It's just like every day. You can just picture this family dynamic every single day she wakes up, she's like morning sun. You remember today you also hate the woman that killed your dad. So that Romero, that's her name. Yeah. It's like good night son. Who do we hate today? We hate the woman that killed your dad. It's like great. So like the child is growing up in hatred already an amazing person, but we are not focusing on psychological relationships here, okay? This is a fucking telenovela. We don't develop that kind of shit. They don't go to see therapists for these things. Okay, so he is randomly in this, going from this mansion, Hacienda, there's no relation to why the fuck he is, but suddenly he's in this poor-ass neighborhood. Yeah, look at this, look at this. <laughs> he takes off his glasses. I'm sorry, has she not done deliveries before? Little, she always collapse like this, ruins all the flowers, and everything goes to shit. Like, how is she even okay as a florist? <laughs> Look at the bees. Gracias. Qué amable. I Do my fucking job for me, man. I'm shit at this. Es un nuevo cliente de Don Florentino. He doesn't know who Don Florentino is. He doesn't know who Don Florentino is. ¿Cómo te llamas? Rosalinda. Pay attention. Rosalinda Pérez Romero. Mi nombre es Fernando José Anda Mirano de Pesca. First of all, why are they saying their full fucking names? Just to tell them a plot. It's like, no, we need to introduce ourselves. Yeah, Fernando José Altamirano del Castillo. Clearly, you had to know this. You had to know my dad's and mom's last name. But now, he's like, she said Romero. She dares, she dares, does she have to do with her? So, because I'm doing this in five scenes and this series had like 80 episodes, what happens in the meantime so that you then meet? Of course, completely logically, within like five episodes, they get married, they have a child named Erika. But the stepmother is always suspicious of that Romero. She's like, what is her relation? Like, what the fuck is happening? Am I being fucked over here? I don't have no benefit from this poor little child dating my son and being married to my son. So she's constantly like plotting, plotting, plotting. Like, how the fuck do I separate them? I need to find that Romero connection. So Rosalinda's real mom, so not the one that's sick and, you know, she was excusing herself for. No, her actual mom apparently did kill her dad, but like she was innocent, you know, but she served 20 years prison sentence. Nobody cares about prison reform here, injustices, miscarriages of justice, okay? Just saying. As somebody who is into true crime, tell them else don't give a fuck about that. That's just like a side plot, okay? That's just like, yeah, there's a background story, there's somewhat of a story for us to make this plot real. But, of course, she doesn't know that, and he doesn't know that. So at some point, Erika is like a little baby, yeah? some years pass. Valeria tells Fernando Jose that Rosalinda is the daughter of the woman that killed her dad, and he's like, nah, bye, <laughs> he leaves her. <laughs> he should leave her, he's like, yeah, no, we're never gonna see you again. The second scene is when Rosalinda loses her fucking mind, okay? So, it's the mom, Valeria, Lupita Ferrer, yeah, the, the great villain, goes to Rosalinda and tells her everything. She's like, yeah, he left you because your mom is actually not your mom. The classic. <laughs> the classic. The must have of every telenovela. Your mom is not your fucking mom, okay? You're poor now. You're even poorer than you were before. And not just that, but she also kidnaps her daughter. This is the most, one of the most dramatic scenes of fucking telenovela. Let's watch it. Scene number two. And Valeria is now with Rosalinda, okay? She has clearly lowered herself to this state of mind that she needs to actually go personally to speak to her son because this is serious, okay? Por favor, no me martirice más. Te pido. Acabo de dar luz. Es 
siento muy débil. Tengo piedad de mí. No, no podemos tener piedad hacia ti. Supongo que... Interesting. So she has just given birth. Oh. Because <laughs> baby Erika looks at best like she's six months old, but you know. They can't have an argument between baby, okay? This is not about miscarriages of justice, it's not about giving birth, okay? They need to have a pretty good looking baby. Alguna vez habrás oído el nombre de Soledad Romero, el labios de Fernando José. Pero habrás oído pronunciar con odio, con rencor, maldiciéndolo. ¿Tú sabes quién es Soledad Romero? Ella es. Ella es la asesina de. ¿El papá de Fernando José? Pues mire, esta mujer, Soledad Romero, es tu madre. ¿Qué piano? ¿Qué piano? ¡Tía esta! ¿Quiénes son? Then she brings a witness a lot. She's like, as if it's a score. ¿Qué es lo que pasa? 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 This next scene is why you don't bring up your children too attached to you, okay? You don't bring up child to have mommy issues so that you go and talk to their girlfriend. Look at this, now she's just going on. It's like if the mom needs to break up with a girl. It's like if the mom needs to break up with a girl. You know, maybe, maybe she's crazy. Now she's going to take this, take this. But the trial is going to come just on her. She's happy. These two, what are they going to do? Save no. this child? Mm -hmm. By that, I mean, kidnap him. <laughs> that's illogical. <laughs> okay, so Selena wakes up. Look at this, look at this. Where the fuck is the child? To retrospect, like, watching this as an eight-year-old, you're kind of like, I feel for her. I can see how she's gonna go crazy. <laughs> right now I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but back then I was like, this is tragic. PTSD. She's touching badly then. <laughs> Very tragic scene to end on. Very tragic moment to finish this on, so let's just speed up to the most insane part, which is the scene number three. Rosalinda ends up being hospitalized. And the hospitalized, I mean, she's in the insane asylum because they think that she's crazy and they don't know where the kid is. And nobody's into investigating that second part, it's just like, let's hospitalize her. The first scene is what to traumatize me for life, okay? I can still vividly remember this scene sometimes, so this is gonna be mental. So, there is this woman in the insane asylum that burns it to the ground. But the graphics of it, for the year 2000, or like 1999, this was recorded, the graphics of it were insane, okay? Look at this. <laughs> the scariest character, the scariest motherfucking character. She's just like using matches like it's nothing. She is about to be burnt alive and it's gonna be on television for about two solid minutes, right? We're gonna watch her burn alive. For Serena, without scratches, no scars, no nothing. For Serena, it's impenable, okay? Just imagine, just waking up to a person being literally burnt alive. Watching them like talk about fucking PTSD, talk about anxiety. Oh, so yeah, they're in the same room. One is like that, the other one is completely walking through smoke. Nothing touches this sudden, okay? They don't have the special power. She's running into the air. Talk 
about the cliffhanger, right? Well, as you know in these town novellas, the protagonist never dies, so Rosalinda lives on. However, now everybody thinks she's dead, but she ain't dead. No, she's about to have the weirdest fucking story ever. She's now suffering through a major case of amnesia, according to Wikipedia, that thinks that a major cause, a major case of amnesia is a real thing. But, I mean, we, we don't blame her, right? She lost her child, lost her memory. She was like, no me acuerdo, is no me acuerdo, no paso, you know. If you don't get that reference, are you a true Talia fan? Are you? She watched the person being burnt alive, like, you can't blame her. So, she's stranded on the streets, and this old thug, like, this old thief, makes her steal for him. But it works out for her, because she ends up in a... Because <laughs> she, how lucky, okay? Me, post like hundreds and hundreds of YouTube videos, doesn't make it. Rosalinda is fucking thief. She goes into the house and it ends up being a house of like a famous producer. And she's like, I can sing. I don't have a memory of it, but I can sing. And she develops her whole fucking career as Paloma. She doesn't have her memory now. She doesn't know who the fuck she is, okay? She's Paloma. She's whoever the fuck this guy wants her to be because she stole from him. But he like honed her. Now she's rich. It's, it's a plot, okay? It's totally a plausible plot. In the meantime, in the second plot, Erica is again forgotten about. Nobody really cares about like Erica as in like they bring her up and shit, but yeah, they give a fuck about her. Fernanda Jose marries Rosalinda's cousin Fedra, the girl with like no lips, okay? And that comes from me. But you see, they're the match, they're the equal match. Like, none of them is like extremely pretty, they're the equal match, right? You can buy this relationship. And now we come to the scene number four. This is an everything goes to shit again because the two of them need to meet because otherwise why the fuck did they meet in the first place? So Paloma, yeah, this famous singer now, is attending this concert by a famous pianist and that's Fernando Jose. He plays a song that he first played to her and she's like, oh my god, triggered. All of the memories are suddenly back to her. Let's watch it. The next number, the next number I'm going to dedicate to the memory of a very loved one. He's dedicating it to her. The one that he's loved in life. It's been a long time that he didn't touch it. He touched it because other feelings wanted to steal his memory. Hoy de nuevo lo busco. Y lo busco con más emoción que nunca. Pedro is there like, am I a joke to you? People know you're married, you're famous, Peter. Sick to you, sick to you. Lullaby. She's like, memories, memories. Let me catch them, catch all the memories. It's not like they had them pre-shot, it's like the same background. <laughs> These memory shots. Ni a ella, ni a 
accident she has been in that whole fucking fire okay so you're wondering is she gonna lose her memory again what is gonna happen this is again a traumatic event well nothing much no this doesn't affect her as i said again the Selinda is unbeatable the Selinda is fucking unbeatable she's clearly an avenger okay so this time around she wakes up in the hospital and she has her memory and she's like i'm gonna recover my fucking life but fernando jose has other plans he's like mm, not sure. I'm a mommy's boy. Mommy said I can't date you, okay? My mama said, my mama said that. My mommy literally brought me up saying that I should hate your fucking family, so I can't do that. She's like, listen, I'm still going to recover my daughter. And then this old ass guy comes into the picture. And if you thought it's disgusting when she kisses Fernando Jose, okay? Let's watch that for a second. Mm. If you thought that she was out of his league, look at this. So he at the time was like 28 or some shit like that. He was even at the time 50 or in his 50s. Disgusting. And boy, he was aging right. Yeah, that's definitely not the guy that you would meet and you would be like, yeah, you look 30, I see you. No? So because he's out there promising her, yeah, I'm gonna get you, you know, your daughter, but like, yeah, can you just marry me, you know, out of Piedad or whatever. <laughs> out of my fucking Piedad, okay? So yeah, out of pity, you, you wanna marry me, right? And she's like, sure whatever so he knows her whole history so we come to the last episode so we are here now at the last episode 80 episodes right this could have totally not be done within like an hour no they had to push it for 80 episodes there was so much content there the last episode of every series is the wedding and boy did Rosalina deliver like up until the last episode we're like really she's gonna marry that guy okay okay I'm, I'm gonna explain She's so thrilled about it, loves it. It's like this is the last episode. sleeps with a pillow over her head like no psychopath did not lose for this relationship at all the whole time I was like somebody else is gonna appear no this dickhead <laughs> it's like I mean I think I'm late but should I, should I try? Should I try? Okay like everybody's already there everybody's already there this guy's gonna attempt He's like, I can't make it. I'm too literally woke up late. Fuck it. It's the love of my life now. <laughs> the best wedding dress. Okay, the best wedding dress. He's so She's like, I need to kiss this guy. This guy. I am on. You know the new song I am more by Talia? That's where all the original Rosalinda fans knew where that I am more came from. The amateurs. Well, the light dramatically. Well, the light dramatically gave up on me there. So, just as Fernando Jose was having an Averia there, he just had a tire. It's like the worst luck ever. It's dramatic music 
tradiciones. No puede ser. No puede ser. No puede ser. No voy a llegar a tiempo para impedir esa boda. She may be woken up from it. The track that comes into view. Mm. I'm a desperate man. Tractor it is. Turn the tractor off. <laughs> it's running a fucking track. Now this is what? Fern method of transport? Fern. This is the slowest standing ceremony. Actually, nothing is happening, nobody's even talking. They're just like, oh, we're trying to fit it into him coming there. He's on the horse. This is the most bullshit fucking time of my life. Go for another horse, go. Literally, nothing is happening. Why is everybody in silence? She's just there, man. What do I do? What do I do? I thought he was gonna come because the mom is going. He somehow makes it because there's just been like an hour of silence in this church. Everybody, the whole church is like. Yeah, that is the place to stand. Mm -hmm. That's totally not gonna cause shit to everybody. <laughs> it's like when you walk through the eye, yeah, you get married in front of me, right there, right now. Accept as Agustin como tu esposo y promete serle fiel en lo próspero y en lo adverso, en la salud y la enfermedad. Do you? Do you understand that? Do you? I'm so in the you the question, so in the Rosalinda, you got to have a certain pregunta. You see, hell has it every single day, every single one of those dias, okay? Saying that free. <laughs> he was dramatically falling there. Aceptas por esposa Rosalinda para amarla y respetarla y lo próspero y lo adverso y serle fiel. Okay, nothing will ever beat this scene from Marimar, okay? Just everything the effects, the music, the like shots from back and forth, okay? But this comes pretty close. Because Augustine, Augustine, the grandpa, the grandpa is like, piedad. This is already an embarrassment, to do that. <laughs> He's like, okay, now this is when I step in. <laughs> Laundry. Somehow they get married, although they're already married, they were never divorced because you know she was dead, but she wasn't dead. Okay, 
clearly put him on. Oh, okay. No, I just kind of was last minute, but I definitely need to for you. Fuck this relationship. Mm -hmm. Impossible, yeah. Free matters of transport, that's it. Slightly awkward. Slightly awkward. <laughs> I can't with the underwhelming ending of this series. Please, please look at the way the kids. It's always, it's always the most disgusting thing I've seen on television. Constantly saying her name like, to differentiate her from the mom. It's like, Valeria, sorry, Stolinda, so sorry. I'm not definitely not about to kiss my mom. Mm -hmm. This is this is the ending case. This is it. The way they just speak up for this kid is like, okay, this is on that trope, but sure. the last piece to this year. <laughs> Moving on to better things. Okay, no, look at this now. Can you see how they have just given up here? They're just like, ah, oh, somebody throws them. The guests are still inside. <laughs> like 10 people outside, out of like a hundred. Editing my movie because I am editing this right now. So um, yeah, we are all conjured here today for this. Yes, aren't you happy that this is over? <laughs> Moral of the story: Don't date mommy's boys. Don't just don't. They're gonna rape your face and call you your name a hundred times just to assure that they're not actually kissing their mom. So uh, yeah, that's a red flag. But also another important moral of the story is you can twist it all around. You can do whatever the fuck with your life. You can start stealing and then steal somebody's famous house and be like, ooh, I'm gonna become a star now. No. <laughs> Please don't listen to me. Why the fuck are you listening to me? Pretty sure I know what novella I'm gonna cover next, but drop the comments below with what you would like me to see. What telenovela would you like me to summarize, you know? And that way you can be protagonista of any novella. You get me? You get me? I'm just quoting not to the sex, so yes, yes I am. I'm a perv. But yeah. but yeah, was this satisfactory? Hell no. Hell no. I loved Rosalinda, but I hated that ending. I'm sorry, that ending was like, the whole series, I was like, she's gonna meet somebody else. Then she met the old guy, I was like, mm, well this is disappointing. It's like, maybe somebody else, and then you were literally like, oh. In the meantime, if you'd like this to be a regular segment, then click likes on this video so that I know, you know, this is how you let me know. Yeah, I live online, so that's how you let me, you know. <laughs> if you want to see this content or any content, just subscribe to the channel, you know, so it's always in your feed. But yeah, I have nothing else to tell you and nothing else to say. Except if you learned anything from Rosalinda today, it's not to take life so seriously. And uh, just be as dramatic as your favorite telenovela. Right, right. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Tumbling down the stairs, outro. I am not your mother, you're not sweet mother, okay? Bye.